Back in June, a search and rescue team used a UAV to find lost hikers in Colorado's Pike National Forest. It took about two hours, shaving time off what could have been days of searching. Missing Shelby County woman is safe at home tonight after search crews enlisted the help of technology. Three months later, a woman in Indianapolis, Indiana went missing. After emergency crews had no luck locating her, a heat-sensing drone was called in. Within 15 minutes of deployment, the woman was found safe. And here in Elmira, flames broke out earlier this year, leaving severe damage to a home. Authorities using the department's UAV were able to assess it and lend a hand in the investigation. Across the country, UAVs like this one are becoming vital tools for law enforcement. There's many ways this is an asset to us. If you consider that we as police officers can go into a courtroom and we can describe all the conditions that existed at the time, but each, each of those potentially 12 jurors may have a different image of what they see by our description. This allows us to get right past that and provide a true and accurate representation of a crime scene. It can be fire investigations. It can be a, uh, an inspection of a top of a building. Instead of pulling a fire department in and pulling a ladder truck up, we can take this up and 10 minutes later, we're done with the entire inspection. It's also about accuracy. Departments are utilizing UAVs to recreate to a T the lead up, impact, and aftermath of car accidents, all part of what's giving departments a tactical edge. For the Elmira Police Department and the hundreds of other departments across the country looking to implement this sort of technology, it's about efficiency and about saving their officers time in a dire situation. But the process to get there isn't easy. If we use this technology, we wanted to make sure that it was legal and that we adhere to all standards for the FAA. That meant becoming the first department in upstate New York and undergoing a near two year process. The Federal Aviation Administration requires departments to undergo specific training and authorization before they can operate any sort of UAV. The department purchased its device back in 2015 using drug asset money. Even now, the device has restrictions. It cannot be flown any higher than 400 feet and must stay within their jurisdiction of the Elmira city limits. I think the term drone is sometimes misunderstood or people think other things and, and that we may be doing other things with it. We're not doing things that we shouldn't be doing. We're not going around looking for crimes. We're simply documenting um, the crimes that have occurred. And it's not just officers these UAVs are serving. Here in Elmira, the community can also benefit. The technology is changing. You know, in the future, we might be able to utilize it to help us look for a missing person or a missing child who might have wa wandered off. It's going to be more efficient. It's going to be more cost efficient. Instead of blocking roads, uh, making the general public have to reroute their, their patterns because we're doing an investigation, we can do a lot of things in about 10 minutes. And that's piquing the interest of other area departments. For example, the Chemung County Sheriff's Office, who declined an interview, says they've begun exploring options to implement their own. Reporting in Elmira, Kara Demers, WENY News.